Hey guys, it's Michelle Smith with Marstown TV today, and a lot of you have been asking me to give you an update on the senior food pantry that Tina Deering and her folks have at the Senior Citizens Home Assistance Office. So, instead of me giving you the update, I will let Tina give you the update. Hello, young lady. Hey, how are you? I'm doing fine. We have a lot of folks that have come to me and ask about donations. Is the pantry still ongoing? What donations do you need? Has Basically, has anything changed since the last time we spoke well we are growing and we have all kinds of folks coming in to see us uh, with donations and we have folks coming in that needs help now you do have a specific criteria just any jane q public or john q public can cannot come in off the street right that's right they have to be 62 and over and they have to bring information about their income expenses that they pay out like rent mortgage things like that Okay, so you again, you have something to, to gauge it by. What if grandson comes in and tells you, well, Mama I'll need some bread and something else? Well, how do you handle that? We will go out to the home and see Grandma and take Grandma some food if need be. That is fantastic. I'm really proud of you guys doing that. Now, let's talk a little bit about what items you need. You don't need things like bread, right? We will take bread. We have a big need for bread and milk and things like that. We carry all types of canned stuff. We have two freezers that, that's full. People love TV dinners. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. What about like personal care items, deodorant, toothpaste? Do you want people to bring things like that? Oh, yeah, that's great because that's something else that it's hard for them to afford. You know, we take things for granted, folks. You know, we have our lights on and we have our cable and our internet. And, you know, I, it's we're very blessed that we're not the folks that have to say, okay, what am I going to do with my money? Am I going to pay my light bill, my rent, or buy my medication? It's very sad. It is, isn't it? It is very sad whenever folks have to choose between eating and getting medications. And most of them will let their medications go if they have to. To have food and then you've got some to let the food go. It's, it's it's bad. But you know what, guys? At the same time, we have folks like Tina who are here, Tina and her program, Senior Citizens Home Assistance Service, that are here to help folks like that. So seriously, if you, you yourself may need a little help or if you know somebody that does, please pick up the phone and give Tina a call. And, and if she's not able to help you with her program, I'm sure she will be more than glad to direct you where you need to go. How do you like it when I put you on the spot? We will help anybody that we possibly can. And last year, we serviced 983 folks through the food pantry. My goodness, that's a good thing. But at the same time, it's not the fact that you have to have it, right? Yes, yes. But we're glad we're there. Well, I am too. And I know, I know a lot of these folks are too. So thank you for what you do. Keep up the good work. Guys, stay tuned to Channel 7, Marstown TV today. We'll give you some events coming up and we'll give you updates on things. And you just never know what Tony and I might end up doing. You guys take care. We'll see you next time.